Papara para para Hey, I decided to create a game design for the whole game. My plan is to separate the game design in a few parts. So I will start with the main game character. He will be my hero. The action will be set in the Stone Age. I think it can be very inspiring for details, enemies and levels. I will focus on four bones and stones. <laughs> Ok, I will start with the basic shape of the character head. It will be black and I will use a round rectangle for it. Of course. This is the shape and now I will draw the eyes. But I need the part in the skin tone for that. So I will draw one more round rectangle and paint it in the skin tone. Now I can draw the eyes. They will be black. This is the first eye of character. It can be a little bit bigger. And this is the second eye. Now I will draw a nose. I will also use a round rectangle for it. I will add a little bit of red to the skin color and to get this color. Now I need eyebrows. I can use gray color for it. I think that I need a darker gray. Yeah. Ok, I will draw mouth, but I need more space for it. I will add one more shape and increase the basic shape of head. I can use a round rectangle for that, but I need to change the corner radius. Maybe it can be 3, 0. <laughs> yes! It will be black like the basic shape of the head. I will increase it and move it in the background using send to back command. My characters looks cooler now. And finally I will draw a mouth using ellipse tool. I need to achieve a puzzle face. This O shape of the mouth can help me with that. This is the stone age and many things are unknown yet so the puzzle face is very logical choice. Now I will draw a T and it will be funny part of the character because I will draw only two T. This is the lifestyle of the Stone Age. <laughs> I will use the round rectangle tool for it. The hero's teeth will be white and I will cut the part I don't need using the Y tool. Now I will group every part of the mouth. Ok, I made a good progress here. After this I will draw the ear. Before that, I will increase this a little bit. Ok, now I will draw a basic shape of the hair using ellipse tool. I will copy it one more time and increase it. I will change the color and I need to do one more thing before I finish with the ear. I need to cut this part and I will get a better shape of the ear. The ear is finished. I can change the ear position a little bit. In this period of history, hair was not so clean, so it can be a little messy. I need just a few details for it. I will create it with the round rectangle tool. Like always. I will move it here. Now I will copy it and place it on the different head position. One more here and one more here. Ok, for now I'm done with the character head. And now I am working on the character's front arm. It will be very simple. I will draw a body. It will be orange. I like this because in the games the characters are usually very small. So you need to keep the details which describe the character of the heroes and delete everything else. Ok, this is the basic shape of the body. Now I will copy the front arm and use it for the back arm. And it will be a little bit darker. I want to create a deep of the fill. On the front arm I can add a few small details. Now I will return to the central body. 
I will create some texture for it with the ellipse tool. I am drawing circles in different sizes. With the circles and the basic shape of the center of body, I want to achieve full animal style of the hero clothing. And then it looks like this. I will move the head to the forefront and return the front arm to the original position. Cool. Maybe the head can be a bit bigger. Now I will draw legs. I will draw them using the round rectangle tool and paint it in the skin tone color. Ok, I will move the front leg here and use the front leg for back leg. I will select the back leg and the back arm and send them to back. Back and back to back. <laughs> I am playing with colors of the central body, but I can always get back. back. <laughs> and change those colors again. It is very important how the characters look like when it is decreased. And it is very cool. But I will improve it a little bit. The head can be even bigger and I will increase the width of the basic head shape. I can use this way to do that. And I will add a shadow. The shadow will give the feeling of space around the character slightly better. Now I can play with the position of the details and achieve the right hero proportions. Ok, this is my character and I like it. In the next part I will draw the hero's environment. So if you have any suggestions, feel free to write in the comments below. And stay tuned, because the best is yet to come. Peace.